In this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the IRX 150mm f2.8 Dragonfly macro lens. Hello my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. In this video I've been sent a nice little package from the very friendly people at IRX. Let's just put my camera aside. Okay so so Irix has been very generous and they have sent me one of their lenses for testing and reviewing. Okay, they also sent me a circular polarizer. We're not going to be using that in this video, but we will be using that when we go outdoors with the lens and we will be going outdoors with this lens. Okay, now we have the, a little booklet with their product range in here. Okay, and inside we have uh, all their information. We have the Dragonfly, which is the nickname for this lens and we have a very nice hard case that is absolutely fantastic take a look at that that is how you present a lens okay let's get this out here my god look at that 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 is a monster of a lens this is feels like it's all metal Okay, we have, um, oh, but to note as well, they send you two end caps as well, just in case you lose one, which is great. Let's take a look at that lens there. The 77 millimeter thread, okay? Now, just for your information, I have already unboxed this just to see if the twin macro flash will fit on here. It does, with some adapters, okay? You gotta get a step down ring from 77 down to 72, and your twin macro flash will fit on here, okay? I'm going to take the hood off. The hood's nice, okay? And because it's 150 millimeter, you've got a little bit more working distance. So you can actually use the hood on this out in the field at one-to-one -one magnification, unlike the Canon one, which I find gets in the way. Okay. What? I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not, I'm not s***ing you off, okay? I'm just saying that, you know, this one's got a little bit more reach. You've got qualities that are, uh, are better than this one, okay? And this one's got qualities that are better than you, okay? So just go up there and shut up for a bit, okay? I've got to finish this video. We also get a tripod mount for the lens because the lens is a lot heavier than the Canon. It's a lot girthier than the Canon, okay? And when you put this on your camera, you will notice the difference. So I'm just going to take that off because I'm not using that in this video. We are photographing a jumping spider. And one thing to note, that the throw on the focusing on this here is very, very long. And I have to say, I'm not being nasty, I have to say though that it is probably the best focusing ring of any macro lens I've used, okay? Now that's not a review, the review for this will be coming up in a separate video where I will give you all the good points and all the bad points. This is just a first impression video, but <laughs> that is a very long, I mean, if you look at this one, we want one to one there, okay? Focused. <laughs> Okay, he's focused. So at one to one, okay, we go up to one to one to two point two, one to one point five, or one to two. Okay, let's put that into perspective here. Here's my Canon, one to one, one to two. Okay, which means you can really fine tune the focusing on this. Okay. So anyway, so we're going to use this on a studio shoot here. And that's not just the new thing I have for this shoot. I have a fantastic new diffuser that works great with jumping spiders. However, it's not very durable, okay? So that's my new diffuser I've used on my jumping spiders. And what this does, it allows me to use my twin macro flash as a standard speed light. However, the first time I put it on my camera, it uh, kind of got a rip in it. So we've got to be careful what we're doing with that. We're going to be using that in this video as well. And we are going to be using the Trin Macro Flash. Now, as you know, this is how I normally use it, but we're going to do something different in this video, okay? I always like to give you options when it comes to um, the different styles that you can use for macro photography. So this option is great for using if you have a normal speed light, okay? I'm going to use my Trin Macro Flash because with the Trin Macro Flash, I can mount the heads up the top here and unlike a normal speed light I will still have access to my focusing LEDs that will shine through the diffuser 
But what this will do is it will enable the uh, the specular highlights on the spider to only have a single uh, specular highlight at the top rather than two with the twin macro flash. And I prefer it that way, to be honest with you. I know, I'm not using you. It'll be okay, okay? We'll use you in the next video. I'm just getting my end cap for my lens because I don't use it that often. Do you feel sorry for him because he's not getting used in this one? We've had him a year now. He's been constantly used for a year and all of a sudden he's getting swapped out for a, a bigger, girthier version of a macro lens. Jesus, there's some weight in that. Now, if you are, I know we have um, some older folks that watch the channel. If you are one of those, this might not be the lens for you. It's a full manual lens, no automatic focusing, okay? And it is heavy. It is heavy. So for you folks, you might want to stick to a lighter, a lighter lens, okay? There's also a locking mechanism for the focusing ring. So that's really stiff to move and you can unlock it. I like it to be really smooth, so I unlock it to the fullest that it can do. And it seems to work quite nicely that way. Okay, so the diffuser I am placing onto the locking ring of the lens. Okay. And we shall put our twin macro flash on. There we go. I've angled down the heads just a little bit so they're shining through there. And this is going to be our setup for this video. We've got to set up our scene. So we're going to use our Lazy Susan. Dry leaves. So I don't know what this is. I bought it from one of the spider fairs that I went to. But uh, it does come in quite handy. So first of all, I'm just going to put some leaves out onto my Lazy Susan. This is where it gets very messy. Okay. I'm going to put this on top. And we have a theme of wood now we're going to use one of the male spiders so they are black and white and they have green fangs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my backgrounds okay and if you're interested in these background cards they are available on my website and i'm going to pick one with a kind of a browny greeny theme to it we're going to go with this one here now these backgrounds are available again on my website they are a digital download so as soon as you've made payment you can download these textures and print them out yourselves. If you want to know how I created them into backgrounds like this here, then there was an accompanying video that's on the web page. So you just check that out there. What? Oh. No, you'll be alright. You just take a you know, take a few weeks off. You'll be fine. No need to faff around. You'll be fine. Stop moaning, okay? Just stop moaning. Look. Swapping lens is a natural development of a photographer, okay? So, you know, just, yeah, get by the flowers, okay? There you go. I'll tell you what, I'll put you there, you in, you know, you in the frame, okay? So, you know, let's put you like that, okay? That way people won't miss you, okay? We'll sit you like that. All right, so, that's a bit too high. I'm going to use one of my bingo clips instead. Get to the side instead. Mm, a little bit more. Okay, these bingo clips are awesome. Um, well, I'll call them bingo clips because that's when I first saw them. What they are, are memo clip holders. So if you go into Amazon, type in memo clip holders, you will find these little clips and they are absolutely awesome for doing macro photography. So next we need a subject. We're not doing, we're not going to use um, Fidget because he's always horny. Let's get Buster. Okay, so here is Buster. There we go. Okay, there's Buster. Put that out the way so it don't get in the way. So what we're going to do, Buster, we're going to place you on here. There we go. Good boy. And what you can do is, what I would advise if you are doing this, so if you get a jumping spider from your garden and bring it in, just let them have a little explore and let them settle down. If they start running off your lazy Susan or your table, wherever you are, just scoop them up, put them back on. Eventually, they will calm down and just sit there for a couple of minutes and you've just got a couple of minutes of a gap where they're just not doing anything and that's your time to snap up your images again we have the 650d with the irix 150 millimeter f 2.8 dragonfly lens okay again it's a manual focusing lens 
The other thing to note as well is with this lens, we lose image stabilization, okay? The Irix lens does not have image stabilization. And I think we're gonna feel the pinch of that a little bit because I have gotten used to image stabilization. Now, if you've got a camera that has an image stabilized sensor, that's not going to affect you, okay? Let's see what our first picture comes out like. Now, the way I've set this up is the background is not on the Lazy Susan, so I should be able to turn my Lazy Susan and still get that background in shot. Beautiful, look at that. That's a beautiful shot. Take note of the eyes, okay? You can see how um, the reflection on the specular highlights is much more nicer than having two specular highlights of your normal twin macro flash. Let's take another couple. And he's not moving, that's it. <laughs> two shots were done. He's not moving. He's getting old in his age, you know. He's getting a bit old in the tooth. I think he's just finished with running around. Plus, he's just been fed. That could be it, actually. He's just been fed, so he might not be wanting to run around. Now, the background's nice. That's a beautiful image. Okay. What I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and just bend this over a little bit. I want to see what the difference is if we do that. So you can see there how the specular highlight on his eyes is a lot bigger because we pushed the diffuser down a little bit. And it's looking beautiful. This lens is very nice. It looks very sharp. I don't appear to be missing the image stabilization much. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get a side profile. Actually, let's get a, um, a profile of his top end. I quite often do that when I'm out in the wild. Um, I don't publish that particular image that you're seeing now. I don't publish that. But what you can do is you can use that image to ID the insect to see what it is. Because a lot of the insects I photograph, I don't know what they are. But by photographing the top, front and behind and sometimes the side, I can use those images to ID the species. There we go, Buster. So you can see there we have a greater working distance with this lens. So you've got trade-offs again, you're losing your image stabilization, you're losing your autofocus, which a lot of macro photographers don't use. However, when it comes to doing um, videography, so we're doing macro video, sometimes I do like to use the autofocus. Sometimes I set up the autofocus with the back button focus so that I can switch it on and off whenever I want to. So he's off on the move again. Go. Beautiful. Let's get the female out. Let's get Doris out, okay? Okay, so she's a bit bigger than Buster. So I'm going to go to 1 to 1.2, okay? I told my magnification. I really do like this lens. No offense. Okay, you're good. You're good. You both got your good qualities. You're both beautiful. Okay. Okay, she's turned a little bit. Very sharp, particularly at f16. I hate to say this, but I think this lens is sharper at f16 than the Canon. I won't know till I do my full testing. That video will be coming up again later on, probably next week or the week after. Oh, she's on the move. And like I said, the focusing ring on this lens is very nice. Very nice indeed. And Irix do a video version of this lens, which is a T-stop of three, I believe it is. I wouldn't mind getting my hands on that as well. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. And the main question here that's got to be asked is, would Irix notice if I didn't send the lens back? First initial thoughts of this lens, I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. So I haven't used it long enough to find if there's any bad points yet. Again, there's going to be a full review of this lens. And also, we're going to be taking it out in the field on a macro adventure. And I might also pit it up against the Canon 100mm lens. 
You'll be alright. You might win. Might. Again, Canon, if you're watching, really, you know, give your lenses a much longer throw on the focusing, particularly for macro. It is much better to use this focusing ring than the 100mm macro lens. I still like the 100mm macro lens. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't, don't worry. We're not breaking up or anything. Because I haven't bought it, basically. I've got to send it back. Yeah. Anyway. So that's it for my initial thoughts on this lens. Again, here are the images of my jumping spiders. These have been edited in Lightroom using my macro presets. So I've been asked if my presets are available to buy. At the moment, they are not. However, if I get a lot of interest in it, I might make them available to buy on the website. So if you're interested in getting hold of my macro presets, let me know in the comments below. So again, I want to thank Irix for sending me over this lens. We are going to be having a lot of fun with this lens over the next couple of weeks. So look forward to that. Some macro adventures coming along with this lens. I'm looking forward to that as well. But anyway, I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. My name is Stuart Wood. And again, as always, I'll see you on the next video. In this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions. Hello, welcome to my channel. No, we don't do that no more. Usually it flicks open. There you go. I still get my LED focusing ring. Uh, <coughs> we don't appear. <coughs> now I haven't used it long enough to find if there's a. Now I haven't used it long enough. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's come over here a little bit. I forgot to turn my time off. Hmm.